those who are watching and you are young, usiende kuiba. Nilipigwa disasi hapo. Ndiyo ikatokea hii saidi. Haa, sabi. Usi ni urumbia, ikatokea hii saidi. Tukua shumalatawa ndiyo kijana Maiko Amalo alikufa. Former Vice President Maiko Amalo. Tukaletewa kazi. Iyo ni job. Kuletewa job, tukambua kuna mtu na ziko wana 13 million. Mm. Boy, vitu tukua tunaibanga masa, makofin, lakini tukua tunaiba, sisi si, tukua tunaiba. Kuna mtu start aja jina, he is also a minister of the word of God today. Mm. Alikuwa matupe, anatupe job. Mm. Anatuambia endeni maaliflani kuna msa ya na ziko, nataka hiyo santuku mtu lete. Mm. I have killed, I have conned, I have stolen, I have done everything. But I have never killed. That one of the things I shall tell God, thank you. Because siku fik, mungu wa kuitikia ni fike please na zauwa mtu. Mm. But in, I cannot say I did not kill. Mm. I killed through participation. Otulienda kuiba Central, Central, not Central, uh, Nairobi University, there is a bank, KCB, KC, KC, K, Bankless Bank. Mm. Tusa tulipewa kazi na karao, polisi ndi alitupea job. Tukiwa wanane na tulikuwa na gantatu. Tukaenda kuiba, tukaenda kuiba hapo, hapo Nairobi University, Bankless Bank. Now we succeeded. Tukaenda, tuka manage, tuka iba. Tuka tawado vizuri vile kwa tumeambiwa. Kuenda kuweka kwa gari. Ule karawali kwa metupe job. Haka tugeuka. Hello guys and welcome to my story here at The Orion Production, the home of inspiration. My name is Nyambura Mbogwa and uh, karibuni sana to yet another episode of uh, my story. And uh, joining, me, joining me today is uh, a young guy who has made headlines here in Kenya and outside Kenya. Uh, he's a guy who has been involved uh, in Thug Life for quite a number of uh, his years in life. And um, he'll tell us his story of how he survived all those years of his dark life to now his transformation to where he is now, where he's inspiring young guys, even uh, nationwide and even worldwide. Uh, Wilson Kanoga is our amazing guest today, and uh, he'll tell us more about his life. Karibu sana, Wilson. Thank you for having me today. Sana. Yes, Karibu Sana. Here at uh, the Orient Production, we are the home of inspiration. And uh, true to it, true to your story, it fits what us, what we advocate for. Because we are here to tell stories out there to inspire other people, either to change, to educate them, to inform them, and learn something from other people's stories. Yeah. So Wilson, tell us a little bit about your background to kujua kidogo kutoka time ulizaliwa mpaka your teenage life utupatia ka background kidogo kiasi kukuhusu ok my name is Wilson Kanoga ukinipenda sana you can call me evangelist ama AKM Zae evangelist is because I do minister in high school ministry I have a high school ministry which I do minister in high schools mostly and colleges Mzai, I do street, uh, street, evangel street evangelism and transformation where I go to, I visit streets of Nairobi, different streets in Kenya. I feed street boys and those who are ready to be, to be transformed or given a chance, I do rehabilitate them or get somewhere they can be rehabilitated for their future or for better life. Wilson, I cannot say I'm old or I'm young. I was born about um I was I was uh I was born below 40 years ago. I found myself the street of Nairobi where I started life of street boy. So I have been raised up in Nairobi as a street boy before I was rehabilitated in different rehabilitation before my change came up. Yes, that's me. Very nice. So to Eleze Sasa, Yo Mambo ya kukua Thug. Ilianza wapi at which specific point of your life? Because from what I know, wewe ulijikuta tu ukiwa street boy, ukiwa katotoka dogo. Na hapo ndipo ukanzia maisha yako ya kukua street boy. Sasa maisha ya wizi li kulienda aje ikakua sasa umianza maisha ya wizi. Uh, in street there is different type of life. When you say about stealing, bagari, robbery, in the street of Nairobi there is different type of life. 
and it's not about uh, stealing first. Mm -hmm. you, you don't just come and start stealing. Mm -hmm. If you find someone stealing, mm -hmm. that one was a, a thief at home. Mm -hmm. So he was sent away from, he ran away from home where he came from. So he continued with the life where he, he was used to. I found myself at the Statute of, Statute of Nairobi, mm -hmm. where I was a street boy. And uh, being a street boy, it's not easy because now you depend on the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. As a street, uh, I found myself the street, I came to know myself at the age of seven years. Mm -hmm. So below seven years, I was under someone care. Mm -hmm. in, street, in, street of Nairobi, in the street of Nairobi, when you are young, you are taken care of by those who are older than you. Mm -hmm. They are your father, your brother, your mother, your uncle and everyone. Mm -hmm. So anything you want, they usually use is you some time to steal for them mm -hmm. and to do other th they sent you to do other things for them mm -hmm. so i was raised by the elder the i, ca I can call them my elder brothers mm -hmm. who are street boy like me yeah. so i find myself a uh, street boy mm -hmm. where first time you have to be introduced to drugs mm -hmm. and not to drugs in the in street of nairobi there's different of drugs which i was introduced first is gru mm -hmm. amma kabire kabire is the normal name Gru is the other name with Ayawatu uh, Amesoma. But in our language, we used to call it Kabiere. So from Kabiere, you get introduced to Masi. Masi is uh, aeroplane part. After Andege, then from Masi, when they see now in, it has, you, st you have started coming up, you get introduced to Bang. Bang, actually, we are not used to the way people are using it today. Mm -hmm. By then, Bang, we used to use it as a form of to give you energy, Upate Joto. Not to be sober, like now people use it as just normal cigarette. We used to use it to part a jotto. So the first thing you get introduced to drugs, uh, like Guru, which is Kabiere. From Kabiere you get introduced to other difficult things. Eh? From, uh, remember, when you, are young, when you are young, if I take you back, which I don't like giving about that one so much, eh? they use you as their wife also. Because you don't know, now they will, everyone want to use you, they now, not about the ladies, mm -hmm. the boys who are bigger than you, they use you as their wife or a lady. Mm -hmm. So they will sodomize you, ukikata, utadungwa kisu, or you become enemy of them. Mm -hmm. So again, before you come to know what is it, that's how life was at, the, uh, at a young age. Mm -hmm. And uh, at a young age, remember there's no place to sleep. Hakuna mm malpakulala. -hmm. As for me, my base in the street of Nairobi where I was, uh, there's different type of base. Uh, kuna base ilikuwa inatua juu kwa juu, kuna base ya grogo, kuna base ya grobu cinema, mi nilikuwa kwa grobu, grobu cinema, under the bridge. By then there was no that bridge. That bridge has just built the other day, but then there was a rounder there. So that was my base, and we used to sleep in snack sack. And uh, during sleeping, now when you get someone who is good, he tells you how to sleep. Mm -hmm. So, unava troza kama kumi, na kila troza unafunga na kamba. So, before someone's, uh, because after using drugs, when you just go to sleep, mm -hmm. you cannot feel yourself, you are not yourself. So, someone can come. Akufungue na kufanyi kitendo kibaya. So when you have that 10 trousers on you, na zote umefungo, mekaza na kamba, makongo kamba, before he open, at least one, two, you will have felt yourself. That's how we used to sleep. And uh, getting the food also was an issue. There's two type of getting food. When you give an, when you give in to be a wife of someone, that person will be catering for you food. And akwambia we ka biz, Ntakuletea diemo. Diemo ni chakula. So where you stay in the base, anakuletea diemo. He go and duru, duru ni kuomba. Anenda kuduru, akisha duru, anakuletea nini? Anakuletea diemo. So where ni bibia diemo. Where ni bibia mtu. So he will go uh, Kenya meiba, when do unaweka. Uh, in the same space when you are still young, when do you connect a guns? Like for me, I can just be frank. I started using gun. At the age of seven, eight years, I knew how to use gun. Na nilikuwa na kia watu gun. So wanaenda kuiba, wakisha iba kama wanafuato na karao, wananiletea. Mini mniko mdogo, niko group cinema, naletewa magan, na yuka kwa sack. Na niko na kabire kangu. Actually, I can just talk to the police officer this way. I'm using my kabire, I'm talking to police officer, na niko na gun, nimebeba kwa gunia. 
So nobody knows this child has gone. That's what I used to do. Mm -hmm. That age of when dog on a tumiwa. Again, come out if you don't have a godfather now, you don't have someone to take care of you. The other thing was kubeba mafi, sorry to say, una beba mafi kwa koti. If I get you eating chipo or anything, I tell you manze, nataka food. Now, ukini pesi, I won't have anything with you. But majority of people are so bitter. I don't know why people used to be bitter. Ume muamba chakula, I don't know, I'm, di I'm created different or what. Even because me today, if I get someone and tell me I have not eaten, I better sacrifice that food for that person. But during that time was like everyone was bitter. Unanda kwambi amtu niaje sijakula chakula and saidi a food. Now this person can tell for it the uncho kura chakula. Ana kutusi na kwambi amtu to amalaya toka apa nta kupiga. And auna like for me something which was making me so much bitter. Sina baba, sina mama. Na uimutu amekuita mtu to amalaya. So me ni mebeba mafi pale kwa koti. Nikisikia that, those words, ha, toka hapa mtoto wa malaya, mi nge kuwasha na hiyo mafi. Aundi tikea, nge kuwasha na hiyo mafi, unaacha chipo zako na kula. Then ni kwa nabeba chupa. By then we were not, ni kwa nabeba chupa na kisu. Chupa was the best, bottle, it was the best. See, it's not plastic bottle, the other one. Una, there's, ha, there's, how, there's a way we used to shape it in a knife shape. Now, if you continue desisting, I will just ntakudonga, then I will steal from you, and I won't care anything, and I won't feel anything. Actually, I, people made me to become bitter than the, like them. Okay. It's not me who was bitter. In my book, I think I will write about bitterness. <laughs> it was not me who was bitter. Okay. It's them who are bitter. Because when I tell you, please, manzini pe mandazi. Na umeni tusim malaya. I feel like... Many heart. I have never seen my mom, I have never seen my dad, and you are telling me to talk up to a malaya. So that bitterness means I could do chupa. I want to feel anything, Missy can feel anything, meaning I could do make sure I talk a damu. That's the time I will feel now I'm okay. Yeah, even if she can now to Ajay or Chana, I make sure I talk a damu. That's the time I could feel now I'm okay. I've made my revenge. And that, that's how my first life of a street boy was. Yeah. Now, not only that, when you are young, you are used again to go. By then, there was no ATM. Mm. So in the bank, they think uh, in the bank worker, they would think that this child akona uyu mama, ama akona uyu baba. I wasn't with that baba or that mama. Mimi niko job. Niko nakabireka ngu na ficha na kufuata. So during that time there was no ATM. So my work is to to see how much are you withdrawing, and after we have withdrawn, na jome to akapaza kumbao, na kumakapa nyuma. We used to have a chuck, and the nini not chuck, oil, na kupaka oil. Then ninge na gojewa, na enda ninge na mbia wale ma big boys ah uyo jama ameto wa twenty k, na ameka kwa imfuko na i. So mimi kasi yangu ni mamaliza. They will follow you until a dark place. They will tell you, Niaje mze, tumekujia do. Then it's like, do missing a person. Nambu wacha ujinga, wacha ufala. Tunantaka do wama tukumize. Then you started resisting. They tell you, manze, umetua 20k, umetua 20k from bank. Na yiko kwa mfuko ya left. You will give in now. No problem. Because already this person is like, ameambiwa na mtu wa bank, ama amejua aje. That was our work. Ingine, ni kutungiambiwa fuata nyumba, fuata gari flani. Fuata ujuu yomtu anangianga sangapi, anatoka sangapi. And now you, as a grown up, you cannot suspect this child has been sent to, to spy over you. So utanikuta mibi kwa geti yako na vutaka bire kangu na fikia tu ni chokura. Mia, mi niko job. At the end of the day, mi ntakula, ntakunywa. That's how my life was. And street you get introduced. The first one you get introduced small drugs to small stealing. Before now you become a thug. Yes, that was my beginning of my journey in the street of life in Nairobi. And remember, you, there, you don't have a mom, you don't have a dad, you don't have a relative. You get transformed by the bigger ones. They transform your mind. They transform you to a... They transform you from somebody who was afraid to become strong. You become a fearless person that you, you can do anything. Number two, after they have transformed you from fear, there's something they remove from you. 
humanity. They remove humanity in you. And sorry to say this on media. Removing you from humanity from you is a Gioni during our time up group cinema kulikuana barabara. So people are crossing from Moy Avenue to that place. Eh? You get a lady, a lady like you, I'm a lady who is older to be called my grandmother. She's being raped. Now, during the rape, where we it's okay. It's okay to rape this woman. Ukikata uta dungwa na kisu, ukikata uta pigwa. So you are doing it not because you want. You have you have humanity in you, you feel guilty. You are not doing the right thing. But now umetokotolo yo humanity. They don't know it's humanity or the feeling. You get unapigwa, so you will have to rape this woman. Waki kwambia nyonya malflana or do this ABCD. You have to do it. You have no option at the apan up no. Yeah, you have to do it. You belong to them. They are you are they are everything to you. So because you are afraid of death, unafanya. And you are the one who starts. You are the one who will start or they will start then tell you, Can you meona nikifanya ibu fanya? Fanya vizuri. Fanya vizuri. Then now if you refuse to do vizuri, they are beating you until you do vizuri better than them. That's how we used to do. After now you have transformed. Now you have become you are no longer human. You know <laughs> there is that humanity in you. Now you are no longer human. You can be sent alone. Okay. And to cut you short, maybe mlikuwa mnafika like after how long after you've been introduced sasa wewe na wewe unaweza anza ku introduce watu wengine wenye maybe wamekuja ama kwanza hata mnachukuana aje una ama ni kaboy mkiona kaboy kadogo kamekuja kwa street mnakachukua mnaanza tena kuka introduce ama how does the chain keep on growing because after wewe i believe kulikuwa na wengine bado walikuja after wewe about the about the chain eh? there was no chain what happened some of us were even having kids in street we were, we were intermarrying in the street demo amekamu memwa ameza huyo mtoto mnamlea mnamuingiza kwa group aya not only that kuna mtoto alitoroka kwao maybe in street every day in street of nairobi we receive new guests every day kuna mtoto alitumwa especially those who come from step parents mm -hmm. alitumwa kapoteza pesa mm -hmm. wakati pesa zilipotea akaogopa kurudi mm -hmm. so he come to the street mm -hmm. haya kuna ule mwingine ni shule ataki anakuja street tunamchukua kuna mwingine totally hana parent uh, it wasn't our uh, sisi tuko tunachukua mtoto akae na sisi mm -hmm. actually tulikuwa tunakurudisha hata kwenu yeah. the one thing people don't know outside there mm -hmm. we could return you to your parents home mm -hmm. Kuna ule ameka maybe ni pesa zilipotea alitumwa sukari pesa zimepotea so wako na hiyo uoga ya ku face the parent huyo tulikuwa tunamrudisha jule mateso tutampea in the street he could not stahimili kuka street remember in the street kutairi unatairi ya Nairobi hakuna hostali then kuna hiyo makarata za lion as it is a i don't know is like the band one we used unachoma na kuchoma pole pole this mateso you in Nairobi it you will have to go back to your home then there was those now mimi sina mom sina dad even if ni rudishe i am not going anywhere how i can survive we introduce them to to their family we and you could take care of them very well yeah that's how life was so the chain continued yes then there's those who are criminal just at home criminal hiyo ni manga kichwa ngumu ashazoea so if a kitoboa one week we are saying kwa group na kuingia kwa group there's uh, there, is, there is introduction of small drugs there is now rape rape is to to remove humanity from you then there was even kupiga mtu you get unaambua enda uibi ule na umso wake kumso wake ni kumta you you unampiga bila kumhurumia na you are small na unapiga mtu mkubwa kukuliko akijaribu kupiga yeye ni katoto unadunga kisu unatoroka so removing that humanity in you mm. then now you get introduced to a higher level now nataka tuingie hapo yes. hapo kwa higher level ndio hapo mambo inachacha kabisa vizuri kabisa like your very first crime kama unaweza kumbuka yenye ulifanya vizuri mkashikwa na polisi ndio sasa ikakuingiza sasa kwa life sasa ya thug kukuwa thug vizuri kabisa tuelezee tuanzie na hiyo ya kwanza tukienda hivyo juu kwa sababu kuna mahali nataka tufike unieleze hapo hata mlifikaje 
<laughs> now we <laughs> stealing now from the now from the child the child do do mezo akuibia wale there is now circumcision so we talk from what we used to call ke now they want to introduce you to be a man to be introduced to be a man. Na man uko kwa street mnaita aje cuz neke he alafu now you want to be introduced to a real man now to be introduced to a real man now from coming from kehe now, now it's another now you you, you have graduated ingine siku graduate ingine ni utoto ulikuwa unapitishwa now there's graduation now from this graduation is where you are taught how to use gun now when ni mwizi si katoto the first thing ni kupelekwa mahali unafundishwa kutumia gun my dear kutumia gun si mchezo si si kukula chipo si kukula sausage gun ni baridi kuguza pisto hivi it's cold <laughs> hey, cheka it's cold it's cold na unapewa unaekelewa hapo unaambiwa ujui hiyo ni umebeba kifo na uhai wako it's cold you get introduced now kuchomwa iko na spring iko na mafuta inaoshangwa step by step unajikojolea tunaendelea yes unajikojolea tunaendelea because it's very cold wacha vitu unaonanga police wakishika I don't know how for them they do but for us it was cold you feel ni hiyo kitu ni baridi na saa you are in that life of now nimefika kwa kifo sasa you get introduced ukufungua kuyosha kurudisha some things i cannot say online after there they somehow you are fundishwa kuweka hiyo kitu kuweka kwa ndani hivi unaambiwa enter keni kom nayo urudi Now, <laughs> I usually see young people want to become vags, and I feel like, do they know what they are going to? Do they know what it is? To carry a gun from now, see, Ujangia AK-47, Nipisto 2, yeah, 27 Risasi. Iyo tundi umebeba, na ni ume introduce you from now. Usha fundisha kufungua, kushoot, si kushoot kufungua, kuosha kuweka Risasi, umefundishwa. The next step ni kufundishwa kuweka hapa na uambiwe enda Kenicom ufike urudi. Next one after kufika kurudi enda utulete do fulani ukiwa peke yako. You don't have anyone now you are alone. The only thing you have is you. It's not a gun, it's your partner. That's your partner. Wewe unaita raisi. It is your partner umebeba your partner na umebeba kifo umeba sanduku ya kukuzika so go to Kenicom remember it's from group cinema go to Kenicom now stage 2 kuja na come with 10k alone to later if you make it to come with that 10k now remember e pistol ipewa it's ho, it's iko na bullet moja only one na si ya kushuti uwe mtu scare in case anything happen scare run na nikifo umebeba so go there to the 10k if you succeed to come back with the 10k you graduate unafundishwa sasa this is the way 20k ak47 sasa ile kubwa sasa unafundishwa kulala nayo sasa si kubeba umeiwekelea hapa kwa kichwa na umelala ni kama umelalia pilo na we si mwoga uko na kabiele umejidunga vizuri na kamismizi vizuri pole pole na hapa kwa kichwa uko na nini ak47 na karao wanapitia maizi yup karao wanapitia penye uko they are wanapitia kwenye uko na wanakusalimia vizuri mnaongea mnabonga na watakuachia pesa za lunch na kwa hiyo gunia uko na gun na umelalia uogopi remember uko ready in case ukarao ajue kenye umebeba utamuua So uko poa mnaongea na karao na anaenda that stage 2 ukisha succeed hiyo stage 2 tena kuna kufundishwa kuifungua kuiosha kuifunga kuweka ridhe that is stage 2 now from there now you can be circumcised circumcision in the street is not uh, like let me talk about myself uh. si circumcision ni kupereke au si ni circumcision unikate ni kukate hiyo siku unakunywa kukunywa siku kunywa pombe pombe nimekuja kukunywa aftani 
Nikiwa some I can say I have graduated I'm big person now. Street boy you can know them find them wakikunywa. Pombe wizile wesha chokora hiyo ni maji. So kuna kuku, ku, umekula vizuri. The day of circumcision you get to wake up very early in the morning unaoshwa. Unakula DM of vizuri chakula kukula until la una space ya kuweka. Then unajidunga unajidunga kafe, unajidunga kafe uh, kafe ni cocaine, cocks, unajidunga kikoke yako natumia brown uh, brown sugar kuna dawa inaitwa brown sugar natumia unatumia kingwai yako vizuri so wezi fear anything so nikukate unikate for me the day i got circumcised by the way i remember very well i got circumcised in the morning at group cinema saa sita tulikuwa kuiba buruburu police station the same same, same same day so if you tell me circumcision i will tell you i got circumcised better i got circumcised early in the morning at group cinema na at 2 pm tulikuwa kuiba buruburu police station kisa kamzisho nenye inakalianga vijana weeks sasa yetu kuna yetu kwanza i did not get circumcised by like like the, the normal boys yetu tunatairiki kui vizuri it traditional one well na nikutairishana na kukata unanikata na niko drugs vibaya after there that day kuna kuja job Kukuja wax hakuna kusema oh i go to in the morning i cannot go and do bla no job imekuja ni went the way you are so job ikajileta ni kwenda kuiba burupul police station where tulienda kuiba burupul police station tuibi kitu ya maana wheels hizi magari zimepakiwa kwa police station tunatoa hizo ma wheel tunatoa hizo ma side mirror karao hawa na natuni kachokora kana tafuta tuchuma mimi tuchuma naiba magari that day but mbali happen kuna mama alipita na alikuwa na dom nzuri tukapita nazo mob justice wakatuvamia that was year 2002 na ni hiyo time mchana tu yo mnapita na doza huyo madhe tulipita nazo ina burubu station hapo mimi nilikanyagwa remember i just got circumcised nilikanyagwa damu ikaanza kutoka nikakapigwa shoka ya kichwa samwe hapa niko na kishimo nikapigwa shoka ya kichwa we were to of us five of my member were killed on spot mimi god because god needed me for this generation i shall say i got fainted uh, the police thought that i ha- i was already dead nikachukuliwa nikaikwa kwa land cruiser wakatupeleka city mochari nikapelekwa city mochari wakisema nimekufa na nikalala mog eh i nilala mog city mochari na ikakuwa nimekufa the following day maiti yenye zikenda kuoshwa unajua hizo drugs ni talk tunakunywa kuna vile unaweza kunywa wende ujiwekelee mahali ulale uzingizile mbaya so mi wakati nilijisikia niko kwa mog sinuanze mbio mimi sikujua niko kwa mog nile unaenda kuita wasi mlikuwa mmeenda kuiba na wao kama ni aje kama amuki ndua amu eh, tuko na wao ndua unajaribu kumwamsha kwa mbog amuki so kuangalia huku watu waongei ni wapi huko ni mbio city city mochari kutoroka nikaweka kwa gazeti ati kuna chokora lifufuka si kwangi nimefufuka si kwangi nimekufa by the way usinize vile mbinguni kuna kai dondo eh so wa vile nilitoroka watu wanasemanga nilifufuka si kufufuka mimi ndio nilijikuta kwa mog nikajisikia nikiuhai nikatoroka that's how watu wanasemanga nilifufuka i went to the street nikakuta niko na nimepigwa hiyo saidi imeharibika now my small other brother wakanipeleka kinyata hospital i was admitted nikiwa admitted i got a camp size twice nikatengenezwa nikiwa sasa street again nikiwa oc nikaanza kuibia wagonjwa sasa nikaanza kuibia wagonjwa sasa sasa tena nikaanza kuibia wagonjwa sasa nika siku moja nikakutwa nikibia wagonjwa tena tashana mbuga rudi street that's how i came back to street and to continue with my life remember nimeanza kuluzwa say and you know you are next in the street uh, one person when he die you know you just know i'm next yeah hakuna story mob ni wewe next uh, so nikaanza kujua remember remember if i take you back i told you ukishafundishwa wekelewe pisto hapa kwa mguni baridi na unapofundishwa kutumia unaambia yango hii ni patina yako ni kaburi yako na ni sanduku yako so you are three in one 
So we may beba sanduku, we may kifo. So in the process, you know already in dua alikufa. So next ni mimi. So you, that fearness in you, to the, the, you are not afraid of death. You are not afraid of anything. Now you are facing the world. Uh, now so na kwa na introduce you kwa sita sita mention the name. So na kwa introduce to a bigger now, big people now. Ni metoka street. Missi choko sasa. Missi choko ra tao. Tuko. Let me take you back. In 1998, bomb plastic ripuka tao. Wase wa kitoroka tao. Sit tuko na ingeyo building kuiba. Ya pi wase wa na toroka. Sit tuko na ingia kuiba. Na hapo ndio tuliba do poa, do mzuri, milioni yangu ya kwanza kuguza. Unona ni kama ni pesa, unona si kama do. Iyo ndio tuliba do poa, ile mzuri kabisa tamu, zako, safi. Unafikia tunenda kununua nyumba, <laughs> kujivinjari. Kazi ni kukula, kutumia drugs na kulala na prostitute. Wale eskota wali tukata, unamkuta. Ni ya jinja erisi, uli nikata hanga, ndi uyu mimi nikona do. Na pesa sasa yo. Eh, kam. Eh. Unampe 100k, na juu... Hotel wezi funguliwa vila unakaa, hei ndi anaenda na book room. Mm -hmm. Ana book room na anasema niko na uika kijanamu na ingia na hei kwa room. Au, akupei kenya akupei, anakwe kia drugs, anakuibia, anatoroka. Mm -hmm. So from there, tuka kombo wa nyumba madhare. Saa tuko madhare. Tuka kombo wa keja. Kukombo wa keja, saa si keja hati, tumekombo wa tuishi. Mm -hmm. Tukisha maliza kazi yetu, hiyo ni ya kujistunda. Yeah. Hiyo ni place ya kujisunda. That was our work. Now we graduate from street. Mm -hmm. Now we unaza jitegemea. Kisha tahiri uka street. Mm -hmm. Kisha jitegemea. Umerusiwa kuwa na wife. Mm -hmm. Si wife uwe mlete. Mm -hmm. Unamalizana. Una Unajuangayeni bibi yako. Unaiba unampedo. Mm -hmm. By this street ulikuwa tu nataka mtoi. Juna za uliwa anytime wa chembegu. Mm -hmm. So utaki ya tumuwe. Mm -hmm. Ni ya kuzalie wende na life. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's how our life was. And I've done everything. But I have never killed. That one of the things I shall tell you, God, thank you. Because si kufik, mungu waku itikia ni fike place na zauwa mtu. But in, I cannot say I did not kill. Mm. I killed through participation. Whereby mukona wa, wenye mukona wao, wameua ukiona. Mm. Umejaribu kuambia musi uwe, musi uwe. Umenda kuiba place, musi ya mewajua. Mm. So wao kazi yao ni kumalizia hui mtu wa sikuje kuropokoa. So we unajaribu, I think when God have called you, you I, me, I was in a preparation. God was preparing. God was preparing me for ministry, because now I could feel. Remember, ni ritorwa humanity, but now na feel mufanyi kitu kizuri. Tumuibi etu tuende. Tumuibi etu tuende. How ataku shoot? They will shoot you. So uta jipato mchikuwa mai ata umegonga wui umtu ndio waone mukopa moja. That's how I can say participated. Na kudunga na visuli, dunga na. Hiyo si mara moja, hii hey, tau, hiyo si mara moja. That one I have done. Mm. Sita kudanganya. Mm. In town I have, nimedunga wengi. Mm. Eh, si moja. Mm. Na si kwa kupenda kwako. Mm. Umenda hizo mabezi. Kuliku wanga, that time kukua kama saizi maraiti. Unaenda grog, unapitia police, unakutana mse. Unamuambia tu roho safi, ni haji buda. Nipe do. Yeah. Nakuambia sina. Mwambia ni haji, misi kuchekeshi, nipe do. Nakuwa laika, nakuja kude garega na ewe ilu kwa zile zako. Ana unaona hata toa, unamtolea mara moja, unamdunga si umuwe, unamdunga kumuonyesha uko serious. So yule kumudunga kumuonyesha uko serious, atastuka, anatoa. Na hata akitoa, anainua mikono juu, unamtoa, unamambia misi na ubaibu, enda zako. Lakini siku hizi, hata wakikata, unajipata wameua mtu. But us was like, nitakudunga ukikata. Nitakudunga ukikata. Lakini uki, uki niona utanipe, alafu kuna wale wasi walikuwa na kutharao juwe, maybe ni kachokurawe, ni mdowa, kuna kitu unajua. How pio na mdunga kumonyesha kuna kitu unazafanya. Yeah, there was that introduction to, big, to, other, to other people who have been, I won't mention the name, who have, who have been there before you. Mimu izi mkubwa ni mbebea gani, alikuwa naituwa madheri, huyo naizataja. Hey, huyo naizataja, huyo ni mbebea, huyo siyo gopangi kusema. Uyo ni mbebea gani kutoka tau paka kite, mm. alikuwa naishi kitengera. Uyo ni mbebea gani kutoka kite paka kajiado. Uyo hame niita, hame niambia ni aji, nataka unibebea kitu fulani kutoka hapa paka karen. Na naenda na mbebea. Mr. kujua kinyi itafanya, by then kukua na mafone. So, na beba hiyo gani, ananiambia tukutane karen please fulani, ukai tu hapa paka nikuja na kamu. Ananipe duzangu, na mpe mali yake, anaenda. Ananiambia ni kikutaka, nita kutafuta. Uyo ni mbembea. Na simi peke yangu tulikuwa katha. 
Akisha ona ni kama usha fanya kazi na ye sana, alikuwa na kuchange. Mm. Alikuwa na kuchange, ana change, kuchange that, uh, anatafta mse mungine. Mm. Lakini mi nilikuwa ule mtu wake. Mm. Eh, mi nilikuwa mtu wake, alafu alikuwa na nipenda kabisa. Mm. He used to love me so much. So mi nilikuwa mtu wake na nilikuwa spy wake. So alikuwa na niambia wenda, nita kuletea DM wa So wange niletea, tunakaa mwezi moja tuna mwezi moja tuna job. Mm. Hata sa hiyo mwezi moja tu na job mimi na rubangesha street sana ibi atu wa say street akikam tena ananiambia pereka hii kitu mahali fulani ndo zake ziko shilingi mbili amekuja ameniambia pereka kareni hii kitu nikutana mahali fulani na beba na panda mat na pereka na pewa ngiri kama so ngiri kama so sina keja ile keja madhare kumbuka tuko watu kama kumi tunalipa wa say kama kumi Na kuja na, na ganja, na kila mtu walikuwa na tawaso yake ya kulipa keja. Na tawaso yangu ya kulipa keja, hizo zingine ni zangu. Mamiradi, sasa ni drugs na ladies. Yeah, that's in all. the process ya kurip hao ladies na nini, shuguli zenu na maprostitutes. Mulikuwa mnapata nini kama maestri ya zivi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I usually thank God of, and yesterday I was talking to some boys somewhere, and they were asking the same question. Mm. I was uh, I was teaching them about HIV and sexuality. Mm-hmm. Myself, I usually hide in the word of God so much. Mm-hmm. I don't know, and I repeat the word of God. Mm-hmm. I usually say well, God was preparing me for a higher call, which I have not even started. To request an apartment, I am HIV free. Iyo ni mepi mwa mara miyamoja. Iyo even maybe to dinta pimotena. I'm HIV free. That one, uh, I'm not what you call HIV. I'm not condemning it because I know you will watch this. Mm-hmm. I'm not condemning. I'm not saying in Mbaya. Mm-hmm. It's a disease like mm-hmm. other disease. Mm-hmm. But for me, mm-hmm. I'm HIV free. Mm-hmm. But I used to rape. Mm-hmm. I used to rape. That one is a fact. Mm-hmm. Different women. Mm-hmm. To dog or kubu, different. Now, wakati wana Nairobi show to lukwa tunafraia. Watoto wa shule, hey, tukua tunafraia, unaenda unamweke ya kakitu kwa, 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 kwa chakula, kwa chipu, anachanganyikiwa, kuna drug station, unapaka una una kwa mkono, inaikangwa kwa handkerchief, na kuja na kusalimia. Mimi kuna nye nimejipaka, nikisha kusalimia, sani kikulizo, unaituwa nani, unaituwa shiko, kwenye ni wapi, niko mahali fulani, na kuambia ni fuate. Iyo drug ina, ita take to off it take only 20 minutes to circulate in your blood system, then you get confused. Mm. Whatever it tells you, you do. Mm. So, to call natumizo mm. drugs, mm. pia kweke ya waschana, mm. unakuwa, na si waschana peke, mm. let me not jump the question first. Mm. <laughs> Nimeruka na ukumbuki. Mm. Ours, because of that, kweke ya oma, dem is of it too, we used to get different diseases. Mm. Tulikuwa na wapata ma drugs mingi, na in street, I think a hospital called, uh, siju na ito waji squeezy, iko, during our time, there was, in, today is an university, mm. opposite uh, Times Tower, mm. just direct opposite. Mm. There's a university which is Tuk, Kuna, there is a name that university is going to college something. After that college, Kuna Hosi Agava. Immediately after that college, Tuk University, there is Kuna Kahosi Agava. I thank God because of that hostel. Tulikuwa tukigojeka, chukura yote kegojeka. Kuna mother tulikuwa tunaita shosho, alikuwa nga hapo. She was a matron in that hospital, alikuwa naosha. So chukura yote kigojeka, kienda hapo wakuto uyo shosho, anatutibu. So tulikuwa tunagojeka, tunenda hapo. Free. Hata kutairi wenye wametairi, waka ikawalete infection, ama akatairi vibana, anza kubreed. Tulikuwa chukura wengi wamekufia hiyo hospitali. Until today, because I go back to the street to visit my brothers, chukura wengi wa mekufia hiyo spali. Wajakufa because not, not because some of me, Dr. Negres, I met, remember tunajitairisha. So maybe uli katoa vibaya, so breeding. Tunakubeba, tunakupereka hapo. By the time tufike ya ulienda kitambo, tunenda kukuzika rangata kwa gunia. Tunakuz, by the way, tukona zika wa brother wetu. Aku kwa mahubiri, but we used to know how to pray our father who was in heaven. Tunakuzika vizuri, tunayanda. So, my, a lot of my brother, when I say brother, I, in the street boys, I don't call them chokura. They are my brothers. Died there. So, during the, you ma ugonjwa za kuambukisho STI, UDI, so, tulikuwa tunayanda kwa uyo mama, uh, na tutibu, na tuintroduce kwa daktari, tunatibiwa. That's how we used to get treated. Yeah. Na imalizi hapo, so after kutritiwa, 
you go back to the same behavior uh, you go back na hakuna hakuna chokura yota na joke to me accordom hakuna hakuna we go drugs tsangapi na umepata chakula imeiva ni ku rape kugonga vitu kuenda that's how it was our life na supply yenu ya drugs if i may ask mlikuwa mnatoa wapi ju mko na umeni mention hiyo kadhaa 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 depending na stage yenye uko sai unataka sai unataka uh even right now yeah. the drugs are being sold in street mm. very well mm. there's one of the shop i know somewhere in uh, nairobi right now mm. i cannot mention the place but yeah. the, the those who are watching me they know what i'm saying is true mm. about the on cinema mm. used to be akaduka kalikuwa anachifanya kanauza tinjugu na water view wewe unaenda kununua njugu lakini na jomo yana uza so street drugs they are available even right now like for me in kurudisha nyuma kidogo there's a time to, after kupigwa na mob justice nilivunjika pelvix na si mara moja nimepigwa na usinihurumie si mara moja after getting circumcised nilivunjika hii pelvix so wakati nilivunjika singeza kuendelea na wizi ya kukimbizana na wasi so nikaanza kuza drugs pale Kenicom maybe hata maybe nimekuzia sweet pale Kenicom nilikuwa nakaa kwa wheelchair so choko, mtu akipita ma customer zangu wanajua Kenya na uza si niko kwa wheelchair kwa hiyo wheelchair na uza sweet na uza biscuit na uza different grade nini sigara so mse akikuja kununua sweet ilikuwa ina i don't know kama ina kuanga hiyo jina inapotea aje kuna sweet flani ilikuwa ngaya white part ko ya white I don't know if those sweets still there. So I'm say akikuja kunwa hiyo patiko anipe cash 150 shillings. Najua huyo anataka cock. Si kokokola utanilipa by the way. Anataka cock. So akinipe 150 direct na achukue hiyo patiko achukue moja. Huyo najua anataka cock. So na muzia cock cock when I say cock my our viewers I'm talking about cocaine. So anachukua na mpe hiyo kokeni yake na mpe jua najua kinya nataka je according to to money. Mzee kuja ni pe 20 bob. By then kulikuwa na sigara inaitwa Rosta. I don't know if it's still there. Kuna vitu I'm supposed to. Kuna vitu nafaa kuchunguza kama bado zinakuanga by the way. I'm serious. Kuna sigara ilikuwa inaitwa Rosta. So mzee akinipe 20 bob. Direct 20 bob. Achukue Rosta. Najua nataka bangi. Na there is three type of bangi. Uh, Ujanita kukusomesha leo. But nita kusomesha unilipe. Uh, there is three type of bangi. So akichukua rooster anipe 20. Najua nataka bangi aina gani. Na mpe. Na nimeka wili chia. Remember. Haya kuna sweet ilikuwa ni to SKL. Ukichukua unipe 250. Na uchukua SKL ya brown. Huyu anataka brown sugar. Mm-hmm. So whatever sweet kila kitu yangu yote ma customer yeah. wangu yeah. najua kenye wanataka. Yeah. So ukishachukua kitu fulani nipe pesa fulani direct I know what you are. That's how I used to sell drugs even myself. Mm-hmm. But even today drugs yeah, na uzwa mm-hmm. street. Mm-hmm. I ask yourself mafuta ndege inatoka ngapi street? Nishangaa vile uliniambia hivyo lakini nikasema acha kwanza tu flow na story. Yes. Uh-huh. Mafuta ndege inatoka api? Mm-hmm. That's the question government should ask itself. Mm-hmm. Mafuta ndege, by the way mafuta ndege na uzo street. Mm-hmm. Uh, Unakuta chokura ana akona ka handkerchief ama sweater. Mm-hmm. Ka handkerchief ama sweater. Mm-hmm. Sweater unamkuta ameshika hivi. Mm-hmm. This one is not glue. Ukimkuta ameshika hivi ka sweater. That one is not glue. Mm-hmm. Ukimshika ameshika ka mattress hivi. Hiyo mm-hmm. si ma, ako ka mattress si mattress. Ni mafuta ndege inauzwa. Mm-hmm. It's a one it's 100 and now currently is 180 bob. Unaekewa kwa kwa kachupa kidogo sana. You only need us uh kidogo kabisa. Nini yako? Mka mattress ama sweater. Unaekewa unashinda ukisinizi hivi. Hiyo mafuta inatoka wapi? The same street haya. There is Dawflani in Uzangwa street. I won't mention the name because of security reasons. Ha? inatokanga madhare hospital hiyo mm-hmm. dawa inadungangwa ikidungwa msi hawa si wenye i don't like using the name wako vichwa mbaya mm-hmm. wako na shida kichwa kidungwa na lala mm-hmm. lakini sasa mtu normal nikikuja nikuwekee unakuwa confused mm-hmm. anything naweza kubeba nikutoe hapa nikupeleke kisumu mm-hmm. na utajua 
hiyo tulikuwa tuneka kwa lead how was one uzanga vitu za our especially people who are going to Mombasa kakamega long distance a traveler wanauzi yangu hizo vitu sana unakuta imekwa kwa chup kwa lead na kuja kwa gari not everyone kwa hiyo gari utaangalia mtu anakaa kwa na pesa so hii soda umeimark na na unua soda unaangalia ule unakaa kwa na pesa unamuzia so umeiweka kwa lead immediately atafungua hiyo maji ama hiyo soda ikiletu kwa ripsa kunywe within 5 to 10 minutes itakuwa isha security kwa blood system then amuliza e, unaitwa nani naitwa kama uli kwa nenda api kisumu unaona ashaanza kukuambia maneno zifai unakaa kiti karibu na yeye unamwambia ni aje sunipe atm sawa unaanza nipe pin sawa unaanza nipe simu sawa everything you ask the person he will give you then namwekelea gazeti mzee na muibia unatoka simple na unatoka ukiwa bmo nini unatoka unaendelea na life na life yes natoka wow. unaendelea kwenda kuiba hey. yes sasa nataka eh utueleze nao the peak yenye ilikuweka sasa kwa hata i think hiyo itabaki kwa history ya, ya Kenya eh the late vice president eh, kijana wa Malwa ali he was called by God, and uh, you guys decided that laying to rest was not enough for the rest of us. Mkenda kufanya ile jambo. Sasa, mlikuwa mumetumua, ama ninyinyi wenyewe mliamua kujikuenda uko, ata gatza uko zilikuwa, zilitoka wapi, na kwanza ata in the first place, eh, uh, intention ilikuwa gani, like, kuenda that far to that high profile person, kuenda kufanya hicho kitendo sitaki hata kusema nataka utupe story ah <coughs> uh, there some stories in meruka mingi that was not the only big profile in kenya tumefanya vitu mingi and i go back to what i told you when god prepare is when god is preparing for higher call which already have not started with reason and very soon maybe i'm still on medication after medication i'm planning it's my hope god will open a door I want to start a ministry. I have I have a ministry, high school ministry, but now I want to go far. The reason why I do high school ministry is to reach young people, to tell them I was this and you can be transformed. They, it is young people who are introduced to bad things, but now when they are warned, they can stop. That's why I'm so much in high school missions. Uh, in the street, kuna yembaya ni meruka, ni mesema mini moiso do maisiwa, na nikawacho ni kufe. It's one of the painful things I have gone through life. Nikaachwa ni kufe. When you are in Sodomais, you are in Yacha. And I see Sodomais, one of my fellow brothers. I was Sodomais with the normal people. Waizi amba walikuwa normal. Wali niuliza njia. Na mi innocent li juwa menipe so utano. Nikaenda kuonyesha njia. They Sodomais to me and they left me to die. From there... Wakati nilipona, nika, nika develop hatred na bitterness so much. Nika kuwa muizi ya ogopi. I remember the kuna wizi moja tulifanya ya kama naiza sema mungu wa meniokoa. Mungu wa meniokoa na so many channels a wizi. Na so many things. Na nimeshikoa. Nimeprekoa shimolatewa, nimeprekoa kakamega, nimeprekoa nguru, nimeprekoa kamite medium. Wizo zote nimeenda. One of the things God has in your call, yenye, yenye, ile kitumbaya niliona kifo na macho. It's back 2003, it's now where my peak started. Now ni mikuwa mkubwa. I'm not afraid of anyone. I can steal alone, I can kill. As you go pick it your hotte. We went to steal with uh, eight of my brother. Tukapewa kazi, na hii kazi tulipewa na polisi. By the way, nimefanya vitu. Nimefanya vitu mtatu mbaya, ibu ni anza moja, nitaruka moja, ni seme mbili. Moja ya kwanza 2002, uh, tuling, tulingia state house. Ya, yeah, nilikuwa kwa ngazeti, chokora hamepatikana state house. Ya, yeah, nilitulingia state house kuiba, unfortunately tukapatikana. Ya, yeah, pili ni yonye tulienda kuiba, uh, tulienda kuiba central, central, not central, uh, Nairobi University. There is a bank, KCB, Bankless Bank. To start to report up cars in a car, police in the to pay a job. To cure one, and I took one a gun tattoo. To Kayenda, no senior room here. 
hiyo si nirumbie tukaenda kuiba tukaenda kuiba hapo hapo Nairobi University Bankers Bank na we succeeded tukaenda tukamanage tukaiba tukatoa do vizuri vile kwa tumeambiwa kwenda kuweka kwa gari ule kara walikuwa ametupa job akatugeuka so nikukimbishana na polisi four three of my member were killed on spot tukatoroka njia hii ya Nairobi high on the way miz, not miz, eh, museum hiyo ya kwenda as we are going to westland nikukimbia tunakimbishwa tunatafuta wakarao tukafika au zero ungem and if i did not die that day i'm not dying easily tukapo ndio kifo yangu ilikuwa imefika that day ndio kifo yangu ilikuwa imefika nimepigwa risasi ya mgongo but sisikii uchungu because of hizo hizo drugs risasi iko kwa mgongo am breathing na endelea kukimbia kufika tukafika tukashikwa na mob justice kushikwa na mob justice ikakuwa one of the person akasema kwa kikiki ni dekiwe huyu namjua hawa ndio walituibia hata maybe atatukua tumemibia akasema hawa ni wale wise walituibia juzi wacha tupigwe na mob justice na sasa saa hiyo ni saa ngapi ni saa tisa mchana tulikuwa tumeenda kuiba saa sita mchana Mcha, si tulikuwa tunaiba usiku eh. usiku ilikuwa kurepu mm. kuiba vitu ndogo ndogo eh. mchana eh. so hiyo masaa hawa watu waka mob justice wakatutuvamia na ni one of the incidents yenye nimepitia ile mbaya in my life wacha ya kupigwa risasi hiyo si kitu kupigwa na mob justice i want na tidy kaletwa tuchomwe tidy kuletwa mafuta ikaletwa na tukamwagiliwa kibiriti kakosa when god want to save you he will make sure kuna kitu imekosa kibiriti likosa watu wakaanza kulizana kuna msia kona kuna msia kona na kona kibiriti hapa by this cigara tu ingetupo hapo singekuhai kibiriti tu ingepatikana singekuhai today one of the thing that god saved me that day kuna mzee mmoja alisema hapo na niko highway gari zimesimamishwa tunataka kuchomwa pale unge muite 7 mzee mmoja akasema ah hatu waweki na polisi wameshafika huyo mzee akaruka kuna kimai kinakwanga kwa barabara akaruka aende kwa duka kununua kiberiti mungu naye ni nani akienda kuruka hiyo barabara gari kamgonga pa mama mwingine kwenda kumuokoa gari kamgonga pa so hawa watu wote walikuwa wamekuja kutuchoma na kapolisi wakaenda kuokoa nani wale si wakasahau walikuwa natuchoma mimi niko uchi ya mnyama na nimemwagiliwa mafuta na brother yangu unfortunately he passed on anaitwa ndua mimi na ndua tumekelewa mafuta tuko na ganto nda kuchoma na tuko uchi ya mnyama si watu wametoroka hii side ingia kaange mimi ndani uchi ya mnyama ati ukipitia mahali kuna moto tachomeka tukaiba nguo we came back to street wiki mbili atukuaiba tulikuwa tunatoka hivi unaona watu unaogopa unaona yeah. watu unaogopa but ile kitu iko tu kwa kichwa vile tungekufa hapo mm. ndio tuingia saa tukaacha hiyo wizi ndoko tukaacha wizi kuiba kitu ndoko huyo karao sasa tukakuwa tunatafuta unfortunately tulimpata na alikufa mm. tukaanza kutafuta huyo polisi mwenye alitutuma na akatusaliti mm. although he was killed by some of my my brothers mm. tukaanza wizi uh, by the way tukashikwa tukapelekwa Shimolatewa tukwa Shimolatewa ndio kijana Michael Amalo alikufa mm. former vice president Michael Amalo mm. alikufa mm. na wakati alikufa mm. I, I was ndipo pelekwa nilipo shikwa tukapelekwa Shimolatewa mm. nilikuja nikatibiwa mm. nilikuwa na risasi kwa mgongo nikatibiwa ijatolewa hata leo mm. nikatibiwa mm. na ika... bado risasi iko kwa nini eh. iko kwa mwili hadi sasa ijatolewa ijatolewa nitakuwa paralyzed mm ikakuwa I was treated na ikakuwa because we are under age tukakuwa tutawekwa ndani tutafungwa na jela watu wakuboa tukiwa hiyo process tukasikia kijana wa Michael Malo amekufa tukaletewa kazi hiyo ni job kuletewa job tukaambiwa kuna mtu na ziko ana 13 million boy vitu tulikuwa tunaibanga ma coffin lakini tuko tunaiba sisi sisi tuko tunaiba kuna mtu stataja jina hizo so minister of the word of god today mm. alikuwa anatupa job mm. anatuambia endeni mahali fulani kuna msia na ziko nataka hiyo sanduku mtulete mm. tunampelekea anatulipa mm. ya yeah. tunampelekea tuna grave the coffin mm. tunarudisha mwili tunafunika mm. tunampelekea coffin so 
tukaletewa job tukaambiwa kuna msee amekufa na amezikwa na coffin ya 30 million ai <laughs> Sasa tunaambiana hii tukirudisha hii. Hii tukikuwa successful. Eh, ni hivyo. Hii ni 10 m um, cash eh, atujaibia mtu. Eh. Kuibia maiti si kuiba. Eh, si kuiba hiyo iko kuiba. And uh, we are ready to steal. Mm. Tukafanya tukafanya uko ranya tulifanya sitasema how we used to some police officer na tukapata chance tukatoka. Mm. Tulitoka Mombasa na Rolly. Mm. Rolly ji kama mbeba watu chini. Eh. Unatoka unabadilisha roli. We were trough of us. Tukaenda paka kitale. Mm. By the time matanga yanza the following day tulikuwa tushafika. Mm. Tuko mtaa. Tusha ingia kwa former vice president. Tusha ajua vile kuna kaa. Milimani mm. estate. Tusha ajua penya tazikuwa. Tusha ajua kila kitu. Mm. Nasa hizo tunasema ni ya niko yetu. Mm. Tusha ajua kila kitu. Tuko dada kila kitu. Mm. So during that time of the process. 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 Pro, hiyo wakati wa matanga na pangwa. Mm-hmm. By the time kibaki ya fike tulikuwa huko. Yeah. After kuzikuwa si watu wanaenda. Mm-hmm. Situ kwa mta, tuko kitale town. Kwa kazi. Eh, situ tunagoja wa sayi watoke. Yeah. Na niplesi ilikuwa inagadiwa na 4 GSU. Mm-hmm. 4 administration police waliku wa megadi. Mm-hmm. Sisi na sini nani? Tuko na dawa, tuko na tumia. Tuka tupa, suwenye wako huko wakalala. Mm-hmm. Tuka ingia. Unfortunately, hiyo ilikuwa imekoa, ilikuwa imesementiwa. So tukienda kutoa hiyo kutoa hiyo semen tukakutoa. Four of my brothers were killed on spot. I survived nimepigwa risasi hapa mm-hmm. ikatokea huku. Mm-hmm. I think hiyo nitaonyesha hiyo si mbaya. Mm-hmm. Nikapigwa risasi hapa mm-hmm. ikatokea huku. Mm-hmm. Uh, nikashikwa tukashikwa one of my brother alipigwa risasi ya mkono tukashikwa na because of the breeding tukapelekwa kitale hospital. Kupereko hospitali ni kupereko theater. Polisi wanagoja huko wanasema huyu wawizi toroka tumempika lisasi ya mgu. Ruka, toroka. Saizu usiki chochote huko na maldrags kwa mwili. I came back to the street of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Now from the street of Nairobi it's when we were rehab... Uh, Nikaach... Nibadu tunaiba. Mm-hmm. Tukakuwa rehabilitated by Pastor Pius Moiro. Mm-hmm. Mi nikapereko wa pale Max Mamira kwa children. So, nika, Pastor Moiro kuchukua bado, tukachukuliwa na polisi. Na mlipata na aje. Na Pastor Moiro. Pastor Moiro tukua tumetoka kuiba. Again, unataka ni... <laughs> ni mesema I'm cutting my long story short. Tukua tumetoka kuiba tao. Tumeibia mama. Polisi, by the way. Tulibia polisi simu. A simu zilikuwa shanza ingia Kenya. Aya uyo polisi ya natoroka. Tuka muibia simu. Saakuwa na nguwa za polisi. So ni mama tuwa kawida. Kumbe ni polisi. Tukaiba phone. Tukua waine. Tukaiba phone. Sani, anapesa ni kutoroka. Na tukona gani, hey. haka ambia mabisti zake, haa tumibiwa. Hey. Kama siku kufa hiyo siku siku ufi. Hey. That the day I saw death. Wewe oh, jayo na kifo. Hmm. Iyo ndiyo siku nilio na kifo. Hey. The real kifo ndiyo hii. Hey. Because they shot one of my hours, haka kufa on spot. Hmm. So Pastor, P- Pastor Mwiru was having a very big crusade hmm. at Huru Park. Hmm. Hey, si tukaenda, si unajua kingi ya kwa watu ni hivo. Na nimeva nguwa mingi, si tukua tunavanga nguwa mingi. Ukinio, ni mkikuibia ni kiwa na hii, na toa. Hey. So hata naweza ni kikukuta uwezi ni kumbuka. Hey. Ni kona kofia kama tano, ni kitoa, ni kuone. Uweze, uweze, ni uyu ni apana, uwezi ni jua. Hey. Ni kuwa na toa hizo nguwa na ndale ya kutoroka. Hey. So uwezi ni jua. Kufika huru paki, ni metoa hizo nguwa zingine. Ni mejificha nisha na watu. Ni kajificha huru paki, pasta muiru wakatuchukua. Unfortunately, tukachukuliwa na polisi. Tukapereku, tukastakiwa jua hiyo story. Ya maiko wa malo, wana hizo zingine zote za wizi. So yu kakua tufungwe life in imprisonment, but wizi fungwa jusi ni watoi. Tuku watoi, kakua tufungwe. Lakini tukaperekuwa ruwaka better approved school. From ruwaka better approved school, maximum uh, wa momo approved school. Hapo ndio tuli, after kubadidika, tukachukuliwa na pastor Moiro tena, where I went back to school. Sija soma kutoka class 1 to, to 8. Nilianza kusoma nikiwa approved school. Ile approved school uso mangi upite, yeah. unasomango ujue kwa antika jina yako, then unachagua kosi enyo unaezataka kufanya. Yeah. Mimi nimefanya breeding, iza saloon, najua kufanya kitu yote saloon, yeah. izo ndiyo nimefanya, na pia ni kwa nataka kuwa pasta. Yeah. So ni kaanza kusoma theology huko pa, pole pole. From there, uh, wakati saa nirudi kwa pasta muiru, yeah. ni kataka kuwa saa pasta ukweli, yeah. I went back to school. Pasta muiru waka nipeleka shuri, netokawa Garrison Primary School. Nikaanza kusoma class 8. I did not pass. I got 305 marks. 
from high primary I went to high school. I cleared high school 2008. Mm -hmm. I did not pass my KCSA. I failed. Mm -hmm. I got an A minus of 78 point. Mm -hmm. So after kupita kuanguka case kupita. Tu haja isoma nini kutoka nasari mpaka class uh, 8. Ni Mungu anasaidia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God will help. Akapata 305 kwanza. Ni, uh, primary nipata eh. 305. Eh. High school it's in public domain. Mm. It's on so it's all my social media. It's mm. there on Google. Mm. I got a, an A minus of 78 point. Mm. Uh Pastor Muiru took me to the university. I went at Presbyterian University to do human psychology. Mm. And right now I'm in school, I'm doing law, mm. I'm doing LLB. Mm. I'm not doing law to become a lawyer. Okay. Uh, I'm just in school to, uh, I usually say, sorry to say this, uh, I'm doing it for hobby. Ndikuwa na tsema, nitasoma. Wanyu walikuwa na nitanga mtoto wa malaya. That thing, nitasoma, ni graduate. When they see my testimony, wana ona, there is God. Yeah. So me, I usually say I'm school for hobby and mm. also for people to see mm. that you can be transformed yeah. and become, tra you can be transformed and transform other. Mm. So I start a ministry mm. through my testimony, mm. going back to street, kuongea na watu tuambawa wazazu wa mekufa, watu wako HIV, people who are with disability, wa easy. I go back to prisons, mm. <coughs> to prison kuongea na watu wa mefungwa. I try to transform those who are able. Because me, I'm a little testimony. Yeah. I was there, mm. and I can change. Mm. I was there, and this is what God have done. <coughs> That's what I started. Mm. Then I started a children's home. Unfortunately, 2020, I became sick. Nikapata Maltese cancer. Tumbo moja. Ilikuja kwa sababu ya... Iyo ni for another day. Mr. Kikulia, leo Mr. Kikulia. I'm trying to avoid Kukulia. Ilikuja because of drugs. Drugs and Yendikuan met to me a doctor because of accumulation of drugs. Doesn't in effect. But God healed me. Do you know your story can inspire, encourage, and uplift someone who has lost hope in life? If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address theorionproduction at gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number 0728-654867 or call us on 0708-286012. Visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube, The Orion Production, on Instagram, The underscore Orion underscore production, on TikTok, the.orion.production. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, comment, and share. The Orion Production, home of inspiration. If they will watch this, I'm not saying it for bad. I've forgiven you. Wakati ndiku admitted. It was all over the social media. I will not make it. I'm going to die. Nata nikachangiwa pesa sana niweze kutibiwa. And wale wa jetu kwa tumeshikania children so children so ilikuwa na watoto 160. Wali wali tulikuwa we were we tulikuwa na Welwisha usinihurumie. Tulikuwa na Welwisha na sponsor. Wali nigeuzia. Wali nigeuzia wakafanya saa children so wakantoa in signatory wakaifanya kuwa children so ni yao. Na wakahamisha watoto kwenye tulikuwa tumeka children so mjuja wakayubadilisha. So wakaninyaganya children so now because I me actually said they had the same call which I had, I forgive them. And uh, back 2021, nikajaribu kujia musha tena. Although because of the situation ya mwili, I'm in and out of the hostel. Even right now, I just left the hostel on 20... I left the hostel on 15... I left the hostel on 7th July, this month of July. Ndikuni retok hostel, ndiku admitted. And I will still be admitted again. I'm not yet... Uh, fully recovered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Mungu wakasaidia. Watoto ambao walikuwa HIV na disability, wenye hawa hii children's home ingweza kwa accommodate. Mm -hmm. Wakakataa kuenda. I live with them at my place. Mm -hmm. Niko na watoto 15 mm -hmm. ambao naishi na wao. Some of them are in children's home. Mm -hmm. Some of them are in, niko na watano university. Wengine wako primary na ha secondary. Okay. So, I usually appeal to well wishers. Anybody who is willing to come up, unaweza to visit, to unga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me personally, I need medication. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, you can allow me kuonyesha watu mahali imepigwa risasi iko kent tulikuwa tunajidunga mm. na kila dawa iko na mahali specific eh kuna specific kuna dunga hii ni cocaine hii ni brown sugar unaweza ona nimekatakata huko ni brown sugar can you see it aya ah by the way in risasi usinihurumie niko na kidonda kubwa sana usinihurumie i don't know i don't know vile utafanya because of viewers Those who are watching and you are young usiende kuiba. Nilipigwa risasi hapo. Ndio ikatokea hii side. Ah sasa usinihurumie, ikatokea hii side. Na pia wewe mtu wa camera usinihurumie. Na hiyo na vizuri. That's a bullet. Nilipigwa hii side. Naona hata wewe uko. Mm, naona. Uko zinakwanga mercury ziliingia kwa bone wakati ziliingia kwa bone zili affect bone marrow yangu after ku affect bone marrow zikakuwa na porous nimeharibika pelvic jua kupigwa na mob justice so wakati the other option was nikatwe mguu the other option was nikatwe mguu ili niendelee na maisha but after daktari washafanya research the research na every test na hizo maskani zao ikasemekana ni kiswezi nikakatwa mguu because already the mercury ime imenini imenini kwa mwili na nimeharibika nime hapa mm. so nikikatwa mguu mm. it will end up to two thing one niko kwa riski ya kupata bone cancer mm -hmm. two niko kwa riski ya kuku ya kuparalyze three death mm. <laughs> so i had to choose whether nika hivi to ku avoid bone cancer tu ni avoid kukatwa ni avoid kifo mm. kuparalyze mm. mguu ikikatwa i will paralyze yeah. forever plus niko na risasi nyingine kwa mgongo okay. so is those are the challenges i'm going through mm. na nikiweza wakiweza interfere itakatwa so what the doctor had doing i got a good i got a uh, five i'm been currently i'm been treated by five doctors mm. and they are trying to remove the mercury in my body mm. they are trying to remove the the uchafu kwa pelvics mm. waone if i will come normal mm. so what they are doing the um, um, under management mm. naendelea kutibiwa mm. the problem is it's very expensive mm. i'm still appealing to elwisha i'm appealing to people of god mm. if you are there and you are willing you can come to my rescue natumia dawa za 28000 by the way natumia dawa za 28000 per month dawa za 28000 per month kwa afford ni, ni very expensive yeah. very expensive me kwa too much too much na <laughs> niko na watoto 15 ambao wanakaa kwangu wanakula wanakuja wanasoma so anyone who is willing to come to my rescue mm. unisaidie vile Mungu atakuwezesha you can visit you can help me uh, if you allow me i shall give my number you yeah. can reach me anytime tuambie mahali any well wish anaweza kupata maybe through unaweza wapatia number if you're comfortable your social handles my my number is you can call me anytime you can text me my number is 0723706729 you can use that number get me Facebook is Wilson Kanoga. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ko Instagram. I use my name everywhere. Wilson Kanoga except TikTok I'm used evangelist Wilson Kanoga. But the rest is Wilson Kanoga without evangelist. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can reach us, come and help me. Yenye naomba sign kutibiwa. Right now I cannot for the past we are in the month of July. For the past one for the past 7 years, mm -hmm. sir, 7 month mm -hmm. I have not gone in any mission. I yeah I have gone to one mission which I went to a school called Uhuru Kenyatta Secondary School uh there was the issue which was there some student have stolen some computers in school and they really needed me to talk to the student there that the only mission I have gone to this year I have not gone to any mission or have done nothing because of that problem you have shown you so you can reach out see how you can help me so that I may reach many above all I'm born again Christian and I also do minister yeah. if you invite me to minister especially to the youth mm -hmm. I will be glad to come and I don't charge anything oi 
I don't charge anything. <laughs> That's so much. I don't charge. Yeah. My work is to inspire. At least someone can change. Mm. When I see someone, I may change. Mm. That's my happy. Mm. Yeah, that's Kuna my tuliruka, mm. Kuna ulituambia that in the streets, you guys were having families. Yes. Na watutu, wenye mkotu na wao, made yes. wenye mkona uko kwa streets. Yes. Wewe ulipata... Uko naka, ulipata mtoto, ulipata family ukiwa uko, <laughs> yeah. uki uko okay. street. Yeah, uh, nimeruka pati mingi sana because uh, when you kona shida uku, uku ni, <laughs> you are not directing me. So me am naruka, uki I did not have any child in street. I don't have any child. Actually, umefanya ni kuja kwa store ingine. Right now, I'm being treated. I cannot marry. Right now, singeza kuwa. But right now, nime natibiwa. When I was beaten by mob justice, not once. You can remember me telling you. It affected my manhood. That's why I was in the pelvis. I was manhood. So it has taken the hands of God to be treated. And now to say, I'm, now I can marry now. Right now I can marry. I was in <laughs> but I can marry without using any drugs, but I'm still on that medication. Yes. Well, that is good news. At least mm. uh, you can, uh, even if you can it's good that now you can start your own family. Uh, I am so, so much, so much in the kids I'm bringing uh, up. I'm so much like. Hey, I feel good when they call me Mzai, mm. Daddy. Then I ask myself, Sani kiwa ni pata mtoto wangu. Mm. Now, like my last born, mm. this is my last born. Mm -hmm. He is my last born. Now, I usually ask, na mulzanga, Sani kiwa ni pata mtoto mungine yeah. utafila aje. <laughs> but I'm hoping, I'm yeah. believing God, I need a helper. Someone we can work with yeah. in this ministry. Kama God ali kunini. Kama God ali kuto uko kuwa I was in a gangster of 42 brothers. Mm -hmm. Those when you mlizaliwa kitambo kidogo. Mm -hmm. Kulikuwa, you can google, kulikuwa na group ya waizi from Dandora, Madhare. We used to come from different slums. Mm -hmm. So we used to call ourselves 42 brothers. And out of 42 brothers, when you tuliko tunaiba, mm -hmm. We are only three remaining. And that was actually my next my next question. Kukuliza mebaki wa ngapi from sasa hiyo time paka sahi. We were still, we were 42 brothers. We used to call ourselves 42 brothers. People who have been gone through street. People who come from different street and different slum. Tukashikana. Na tukakutuko. We used to use grants. Sindi tukono na skika. Wacha wa izi wa sahi. Sindi tukono na tisha Nairobi. We were 42. And we used to call ourselves 42 brothers. Mm -hmm. But today, we are only three of us remaining. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of us are going to be here. I wish I wish to be practical. Mm -hmm. Because me like practical thing. I want to be able 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 one of them alikuwa mkubwa wetu. Nimekuambia mimi nimebeba nimebebea madhari gun. Today madhari are yuko. Nikupeleke kwa kaburi yake ni kuonyesha ndio huyu ndio ha wa yuko. But because of the sufficient grace of God, I'm here to to testify. I'm here to inspire somebody that given a chance you can be transformed and transform someone else. So those who are watching those who are watching this inspiration TV, you can inspire someone. And you can also support us who inspire others so that we may reach far. Mungu yeah. wabariki. Amen. Na nini yenu before we let you go, eh, mahali mkona hao watoto, you've told us that we are free to come and visit you, come and give us, uh, give you uh, our support, mko located wapi, in case of anyone who wants to visit you. In case of anyone who wants to visit us, I have given my number, 0723706729. Uh, we are located at Kahawa. You can call any day, any time. And you are, uh, mostly if you are coming as a group, we usually say come on Saturday. If you are coming as an individual expecting to see children school, during school day, you cannot find them. But mostly Saturday and Sunday, is the day you can come. But for me, if you want to see me personally, I'm available Monday to Sunday. If you want to support me Monday to Sunday, or you have Wunga somewhere, na unataka ichukuliwe, just call me, tell me kuna unga nimenunua mahali, uh, and then you mchukue. 
we will be grand. Yeah. To any well wisher out there, Wilson Kanoga has uh, given us our contacts. We'll put their there down uh, your screen. Uh, kindly reach out to him for any support. Uh, reach out to him if you want to visit those kids, if you want to give them any kind of support, if it's food, school fees, also for his uh, medical attention, you're free to help him. Let's come, let's all come together for our brother for the good uh, mission that uh, he's or God has called him to do. And Nyinyi Vijana Wenye Mkohuko Nje, I hope Meskiza your story. Na amewambia from A to Z, kutoka yenye yote, kutoka vile alianza, yenye yote amepitia, he has told you everything to detail. Si yati mnonanga watu wakiwa, awa waizi wakiwa ma, nini, mabombe, unafil ni kama ni kitu mzuri sana, you want to engage in, but amewapatia kila kitu to the detail. Ndiyo, ukienda kujingiza kwa hiyo thug life, uku unajua unajingiza kwa nini. It's not all how do we call it? It's not all nini kukula nini kavile Wilson amesema kukula chipo apana. It's that iyo yeye amepitia kwa hiyo life ame go through it and it's by God's grace that ame survive he has told us uh, that there were 42 brothers and only three only three wame manage ku survive. Na hata hawa wame manage ku survive. Wilson hame waonyesha nini. Uh, matokio ya kuenda. Mm -hmm. Now currently I'm using 28,000 per month for medication. I'm almost turning 40 years. I'm not married because my pelvis is co-affected. Jokupikwa na mob justice. So my private work, my private part have not been working. I'm still on medication to recover. So don't think because we made it or because we survived, we are okay. We are, some of us, we are okay, but with scars. I have two scars whereby I've told you I have a, a bullet behind me. I'm about to remove, it has not been removed. I've removed the clothes, you see, the kind of life I'm going through. When I'm walking, people think I'm okay, but I have a painful scar going on so i would not wish any young person to go through that some of them wanna chukwanga ni kama movie it's a movie which is an a gun iyo gun ukiekewa wewe na iyo gun kwa room utajiko jolea ask the police officer ask people like us i'm about to moiz pitia at moi kanazo kambiwa before use and remember there is rule when you have been introduced to use the gun unapewa ujaribu it's you when you are carrying a gun you are being told you are carrying your partner and you are dead. So you are carrying two things. And it's not, uh, it's not, it's not a must you come back. Uh, one of the things I used to, t I, I'm used to tell the young people, Uneza introduced you a Leo, no kufe Leo. Yeah, you, you were introduced today and you die the same day. And actually we not enjoy, you will go and steal a million, and that one million and you may be able to 50k, which again, that money, in a sharaka, because, you, you, in your mind, you know there is a next mission. So don't expect that mission. It's good you change, for you are better. And if you are in that work right now, you are in that work, that's what you are doing. I was a con man, I was a robber, I was nimerape. Nimerape, I've done all sort of things. You can reach to me, you can talk and see how we can help you. And God who have transformed me, I do have made me to reach where I am. I was told by someone, oh, Takufa. And when I was told you are having multi cancer, and I thought I was going to die. And today I'm cancer free, I'm okay, and I'm here telling you, you can change. Thank you. God bless you for having me. God bless you too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> God bless you too, Will uh, Kanoga. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Uh, being that brave, kukuja kutuambia story yako. Na isaidia watu hapo nje mwenye ameanza kuiba, mwenye ana plan kuanza kuiba, na mwenye ana plan ku stop kuiba. Mm -hmm. uh, all that is possible. So thank you so much Wilson. We are very happy to have you here at uh, my story, home of inspiration. And um, be sure that we'll call you again and again. You expound your story vizuri. To get vizuri, sasa we expound vizuri. Ndiyo tuweze kunini. We change, even changing one life, it's nifiti. Ndiyo ambia wengine in our tomorrow. That it's possible to change and I changed because of uh, Kanoga. And uh, mungu waendele kukubariki sana, bariki yata hawa watoto. Hawa fungulie njia. Ata wewe siku moja wakurudishie mkono na waweze kusaidia wengine kama wao. Because yeah. wao wako 15, mm -hmm. wende wasaidia kila moja akiwa 15, 15 by 15, 
Oh, ni watoto wengi hiyo ni mad mingi sana 225 imagine 225 lives tukiendelea tuki hivyo 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 yes. children and mm -hmm. give them better life amen that is going to happen yes and from us to you from uh, here my story uh, it's uh, bye bye we hope that you've taken that lesson uh, we've taken wilson's life as a lesson uh, go change it's very much possible to change. Go live your life properly. Kanoga mewaelezea ni ni yote. Ata sina, I have nothing else to add. My name is uh, Nyambura Mbogwa. See you in our next episode here on my story. And in case you want to share your story, your, uh, your story of inspiration, your story of uh, lessons, uh, reach us through our social media platforms at Orion Production, Instagram, Twitter, Na hapa YouTube, you can comment hapa uh, down below tuone vile, tutaeza kuinspire watu wengine huko nje. Eh, from me to you guys, it's bye bye.